Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul, and in today's video, we are going to discuss about group by with a join. So before we go ahead and use this group by statement with join, let us discuss about the group by details. So we often use group by details when we have to get the summary of rows or if we are using the aggregate function, then it is mandatory for us to use the group by statement. Now if there is a situation that where you have to join multiple tables and also you have to get some summation or some summary, then how we can use the group by function. So we have a question here which says that how many promotional email has been shared with the subscribers and you have to get those subscriber details who has at least received two emails. So we have two tables here. The first one is the subscriber base and if I run this query, I'll get the subscriber base detail that what kind of product they have and what is the city, what is their phone number, when they have subscribed. Then we have another table which is product A subscriber. This table contains detail about all of those subscribers who have subscribed to a product A and they either receive email for that product specifically for, for that product A or not. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to join these tables and we are going to get the subscriber who had received email for product A and then we will filter out those subscriber who have at least received two emails. So with this question we will be using the join as well as the group by to get our desired output. So let's start and first what we will do is that we will take the subscriber details from this subscriber base table. Let's run this part and see what kind of columns do we have in subscriber base and let's take subscriber id first name last name and product a whether they have subscribed to that product or not. So first we will write select subscriber id first name last name and product A and then we will give the first table whichever is our left table so for us our left table is this subscriber base so we will put from subscriber base and we will give alias to this table as SB so we will put as SB and when we are putting this column names we have to put SB dot So we will put sb.subscriber id, sb.first name, sb.last name and sb.product a from sb and now we will put a condition where sb.product underscore a is equal to yes. So what this query will do is that it will filter out all of the record where product a is yes in this table in this table and it will provide us these four columns so let's run this query first okay so there is an error is that we have not selected the database name so let's select this database name here so we'll put email data dot subscriber base and let's run it again Okay, so we met with an another error says that unknown column sd dot product a and we had kept the alias name as sv so this is a typo error let's put sv dot product a and now let's run it so now we have 72 rows where we have our subscriber id these are the unique subscriber id 72 people their first name last name and whether where their product a subscription is equal to yes and now what we have to do is that we have to join this table with another table which is this product a subscriber and we have to find out that whether they have received at least two email or not so I ran this query and I and there are four different columns product type a product subtype subscriber ID and promotional mail so what we will do is that we will simply take this table We'll join it with our left table which is our email data dot subscriber base so we will put left join 
this table as PAS. Let's keep PAS on the primary key for SP, which is SP dot subscriber ID. And in our another table, which is this one product a subscriber, we also have this subscriber ID. So I'll put equal to PAS dot subscriber ID. And now we'll put this promotional mail column which says that whether they have received the email or not. So we'll simply put PAS dot promotional mail. And now let's run this query. So we have a duplicacy which says that for example this 100 subscriber subscriber id 100 is repeating multiple times because for this particular subscriber there will be multiple emails has been shared with him so for example you are a subscriber and you have received hundreds of email or 200s of email then there will be 200 record under your subscriber id saying that he have received that email now what we have to do is that we simply have to count the number of promotional mail but the condition should be that the promotional mail should be equal to yes. So what we'll do is that we'll simply put the condition here and PAS dot this promotional mail is equal to yes. Now let's run this query. So we got 537 rows, right? Now we have arrived at the last part of this question where we just have to take those subscriber who has at least received two email, right? So what we'll do is that we'll simply take this entire query and put it or use it as a view. So we'll put select and then we'll put subscriber id or let's put select star comma count of this promotional mail and then we'll put from we'll start a bracket we'll put this entire query as a subquery and then we have to use this group by function right and we will be using this group by function for these four columns. So we'll put group by one comma two comma three comma four, and this one two three four specifies these columns. So one specifies subscriber ID, two specifies first name, three specifies last name, and four specifies product A. And now, if I run this query, before running this query, we have to remove this semicolon from here. And now, if I run this query, I should get okay now again we have here it says every derived table must have its own alias so let's give an alias as v now we have 72 rows and this count of promotional mail gives us how many email that has been sent to this subscriber id and the question says that the user should have at least received two email and now what we can do is that we can simply use the having condition okay after this group by we can put a having condition saying that having count of this promotional mail is greater than equal to two okay and now let's run this query so again we have received this output where we have all of those subscriber details who have received at least two email or more than two email. So this is how basically you use group by with the join in SQL. If you want to understand more about SQL concepts, then you can click on the right side of this video. Or if you want to learn about Excel, you can click on the left side of this video. 
happy learning and see you in the next video